my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And my gift to you is this video uh, about the purpose of your life. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I will talk about uh, the purpose of your life, different concepts, and then there will be a guided meditation where you will get your own answers. And, uh, personally, I remember when my mom, you know, asked herself the question, what is the purpose of your life? Actually, she was inspired by a billboard at the tram station, and I was maybe six years old. Another one of those billboards is, of course, that from the Oracle of Delphi that says, loosely translated, now thyself. And that is pretty much, you know, also, what is the purpose of your life? And also, most of my clients ask me that same question. And maybe I could give them or you the answer. But then, who am I to tell you how to live your life? And do you really want to give that kind of power to me? to tell you how to live your life. So, uh, let's just first of all ask all-knowing Mother Google what our purpose of life is, and I quote, your life's purpose consists of the central motivating aims of your life. The reasons you get up in the morning, purpose can guide life decisions, influence, behavior, shape goals, offer a sense of direction, and create meaning. For some people, purpose is connected to vocation, meaningful, satisfying work. And end quote. So, here you got it, you know, the goal of life. And uh, thank you for attending. No, um, so that definition is uh, pretty much a very materialistic point of view that is centered around our occupation. So, well, first I will touch on several concepts about the purpose of life to give you a general overview. And then there will be a guided meditation where you will be asking a wide range of questions to your own high self consciousness. So let's just start, you know, with the Hindus. So um, one of the aspects is the idea of Dharma. You know, that is your divine purpose in life. Um, you know, which comes also, you know, as a social, a set of social rules that are predefined. So there is a Dharma of a warrior. There is a Dharma of, you know, a merchant and others, and, um, you know, there, but there is this idea that there's also a higher calling um, there. But it's uh, generally the divine um, aspect, you know, the higher perspective on your life. And uh, then uh, another, a uh, much more overarching goal of Hinduism and uh, Buddhism uh, is a liberation from samskara, and samskara is just basically the circle of uh, birth and death. You know, through reincarnation, um, you know, um, that is considered as, you know, a, a trap here, and um, you can maybe rectify this through karma, you know, clear on karma, detachment of virtuous life, meditation. Are basically self-realization, and that is, of course, a huge can of worms. Uh, so the ultimate goal here is to merge, you know, with source, uh, which is kind of perceived as an undifferentiated, a blissful existence, a divine light, uh, called the uh, Brahma Yoti um, in Sanskrit. And then there is also uh, a Hindu uh, bhakti tradition. And bhakti means um, devotion, you know, that focuses on developing the heart, you know, in surrender to the supreme will. 
um, to, of source. So, and of course, this could be Krishna or Shiva or whatever the traditional ideas um, of source are. So, you know, this concept um, can be, you know, of course, transferred, you know, depending on the names of source that are there. Of, of course, you know, a lot of monotheistic religions have a very, very similar goals. Surrender to the will of God. You, know, you show this uh, by leading a righteous life and maybe even learn how to love source through service to source you know, or pious activity. The kicker with the bhakti tradition is that liberation from the cycle of birth and death, like mukti or moksha, right, in other Sanskrit terms, is achieved by meditating on source, on the supreme, at the time of death, at least. You know? And through this, uh, you can cut through all the other layers of karma and you can go straight to source and have a personal relationship with source. Um, that is uh, quite unique there. So in that line of thought, you know, serving out of love is a way to happiness and liberation. Say, um, so they're uh, having the idea that um, whenever a, a being serves, you know, that is the fulfillment of its purpose. So in a case of a president, you know, you become a president, not to be a hedonistic, <laughs> enjoyer but to serve the people as if you know they're your own children and then you will be fulfilled when you serve the garden as a gardener you will have you know a very rewarding experience and when as a lover you know you focus on pleasing you know your lover then you will have a, a very ex satisfying experiences so of course, now the rascal part of my mind thinks, uh, yeah, nice Anunnaki programming for a slave race, you know, to uh, give them a sense of deep love and satisfaction when they serve. Yet, well, I mean, the ultimate goal is always to get out of here, you know, the cycle of birth and death. So the big Hotel California, so to say getting trapped in forced reincarnation, you know, the matrix. You know, we, we're trying to get out of here. So this sucks in other terms. So in the same, you know, with Buddhism, ultimately they want to get out of here. Though uh, some of the Tibetan style Mahayana Buddhists, you know, volunteer to stay uh, to help others to leave, this would be the Bodhisattva vow. And um, that would be, you know, the ultimate servant, I would say. Then, from the Christian perspective, you know, ora et labora, which is Latin for pray and work. So, yeah, Latin was the English of, the, of those times. Um, so, ora and labora, pray and work, was a motto of the Christian monks. And, of course, the fruits of their labor, you know, was for, for preaching. You know, a lot of the monasteries, they tried to convert people and draw them in. You know, they had the best, you know, herbs. They could know how to heal. They knew how to make beer. So the locals would come and then, of course, you know, had to listen to their preaching and good example. And uh, so the ultimate purpose of this was, of course, you know, service to the Lord. And again, the idea is you develop love for that that you serve. I mean, if you polish your car every second day, you will start loving your car. Again, the goal was to achieve eternal life and to stay away from eternal domination. And uh, again, the goal is to get out of here to go to a better place. Now, my point of view when I was young was that of an atheist, a materialism or existentialism. You know, there I saw myself as a product of Darwinism. If it were not for the instinctual will to live 
and the strong urge to merge of my ancestors, I would not be here. You know, anything that did not follow these basic principles and guidelines is not here anymore. You know, it just died out. You know? uh, so, according to that, the most reductionist point of view, you know, uh, the purpose of life is just to live. That's, of course, you know, quite depressing, I have to say. <laughs> and, well, uh, depression I had. So, of course, life here is um, defined only as a corporal existence, you know, having a body. So now we are treading on the territory of nihilism and existentialism, uh, existentialism uh, where there is no ultimate purpose in life. Uh, all above, you know, uh, mention idea are, of course, extreme oversimplification. I mean, not every uh, body is the same. Um, some of us uh, come down in a vibration you know, from a higher dimension to help. You know, and some of us have to come up in vibration to be helpful and not be part of the problem. So, in most cases, there is not only one purpose to your life. Uh, we came here with our multiple goals, uh, like bringing certain children into this world and to improve, let's say, uh, the life of the prison justice system or to transmute outdated relationship patterns at the same time, to name a few. Uh, maybe in this lifetime, you're also making up for the murder you committed on your wife in another life. And uh, <laughs> you would not believe the mayhem I encountered in past life regressions between family members. I mean, very, very violent. And, uh, you know, my past history is uh, non-different. And um, then, you know, there's another philosophy uh, like or attitude. It's like follow your heart, uh, follow your bliss. There's another goal uh, there. Uh, of course, um, that is uh, common sense that you will excel in doing something uh, that you love, especially if it pays the bill. But then again, uh, what is it that you love? You know, the task you were made for, you know, the best. How do you know? You know? So, to give you a better idea, just let us start with a guided meditation. So, close your eyes and just, uh, you know, sit with a straight spine. Or have your feet on the ground or just lay down. And smile. And uh, when I say, Amen, you don't just agree with it, if you agree with it, so you are under the protection of, you know, the intent of the prayer. And um, you don't have to repeat my prayers. So, uh, first of all, we ask for complete privacy for all the information that we will be getting from our own high self. So, we do not want other beings, especially not beings that do not have you know, our best interest in mind to listen into this. And then we are in trouble. You know, so if you want complete privacy, if there is no privacy, you know, we do not want information that can get us into trouble where we betray ourselves. Um, important. Mm -hmm. And now we ask that we be surrounded by a column of light that connects us from the center of the Earth to the center of Milky Way galaxy. And that can only be penetrated by love and light. That actually rejects or repulses, you know, darkness and negative intent. Please do so now. Amen. And we ask that, you know, only the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes comes from this meditation for us, you know, for you, for me, you know, for everybody involved, that there are no negative side effects whatsoever. Amen.
And we also ask those divine spirit guides and the angels and all the divine beings that have our best interest in mind and that are approved by our high self to give us all the help on our path you know, to discover our purpose in life. You know, and let this happen in a fun way. Pretty, pretty, please. Amen. Now imagine that you just draw from the Earth Mother a lot of love into your, into your whole body as much as you can and smile and on the exhale uh, put your tongue to the palate and push this love out the top of the head so pump it in on the inhale deep inhale and you want to hear the air flow through your nostril And then exhale all the way. Mm -hmm. Deep inhale, so no more air fits in at the end of the breath cycle. And then all the way out. So no more air is in your lungs, even if I offer you 10 bucks for a cup of air. Nothing gets out of it. Mm -hmm. Just maintain this. Mm -hmm. And uh, you may get a little lightheaded. So uh, if this listen to in a podcast and you're driving or operating heavy machinery, I, I would say stop, do something else. This is designed to space you out. And you know, quite likely that you get so spaced out that unwanted things happen. You know, if you do this. Right, so. mm -hmm. Anybody else? <laughs> um, if just focus on this spine, you know, bringing up the energy and smile like an idiot. The more you smile, the more love you will experience. And we ask the divine angels and your divine spirit guides to move from you any blockages in your spine, in your root chakra, in your feet, and in your crown chakra, and also any sabotage. Amen, amen, amen. Just keep on smiling. And now we ask that an outpouring of love and light from the heavens unto us. Okay, start to come in now, start inhaling this, and just pull it into your body, you know, through the crown, if, if it's free money. Mm -hmm. And then you exhale, you send your love up into the heavens in appreciation. So you smile and you imagine pulling love back and forth through your crown into your heart. Smile like you did, and you probably get some good results. You probably start feeling good. You know, your brain starts releasing endorphins and all other good kind of drugs. Completely legal. And now start pulling in the love from heaven and earth simultaneously into your heart. And on the exhale, expand this in your heart as if you pumping up a balloon. This, uh, you know, this is how the force field around your heart will increase at what you imagine. So with every exhale, this beautiful aura of bliss, you know, these are beautiful emotions, becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, like So now we invite the presence of our own high self consciousness to inhabit us. Just smile and yeah, you may get this elevator type feeling. 
or feeling as if you're taller in your shoulders and just more effusion. Then we like to have any resistances, thoughts of this divine presence of ours be cleared. Whether it's technology, 11 technology or curses or vows, whatever is for the highest good, you know, that we want. So clear all the negative resistances. Um, um, um. Okay. Now, first step is, now that's kind of crucial for you, that you learn how to communicate with your high self. And uh, yes, let's assume here, it's going to be a flow of energy from the heart to the head. It's like kind of an upper. And um, just uh, pay attention, I'm going to do it now, you will feel it. So I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do this now, one more time. Okay, and then now a no uh, will be the flow of you know, energy from the heart to the feet. It feels like a downer. I'm going to do this now. Uh, one more time. Okay, well, if you can't figure that one out, uh, I would just, you know, suggest you use a pendulum and, um, you know, get your yes and no questions, you know, in that way. There's a video out on how to use a pendulum by me. So, let's just move on. So, <laughs> let's just start with something, you know, very simple. Is, are you a servant of God? Yes or no? So ask one more time, just to get it down. Are you a servant of God? Yes or no? And now think about what you think is, you know, what you think is the purpose of your life. Right? You know, let's ask, you know, is this really the goal of your life? Or is it just, you know, a product of your own self-importance? You know, like main character syndrome. So, what you just had in mind, is this really, you know, the goal, the main goal of your life? Yes or no? Good, good. And now let's go to the next question. It may be that it does not matter, you know, what you do. You know, just exist till you die and everything. Thing will be over for you. So it's as asked, is there any purpose for your life? Yes or no? Good. You now asked, you know, is hedonism, you know, which means finding the greatest pleasures and the best of all, is this the goal of your life? Yes or no? Okay, and now the next question is, is finding, you know, your full potential, you know, that, you know, becoming whatever you, you know, can manifest in the best, you know, is this the goal of your life? Yes or no? Cool. And let's just move on. You know, it's not necessary that you have to get an answer to every question. Even if you get an answer to 10% of the question, you're going to do really good. <laughs> Maybe even like 2% would also be good. So let's just, you know, goal also has, you know, being here for what reason. So this is a punishment that you're here. Yes or no. No. Are you here to support a certain racial minority group? Yes or no? Are you here to support a certain sexual minority group? Yes or no?
Are you here to support a certain spiritual minority group? Yes or no? And are you here to support a certain group of people financially? And then, who is that? Are you here to support a certain group of people emotionally? Yes or no? Are you here to protect a certain group of people? Yes or no? Are you here to help the poor? Yes or no? Are you here to defend the innocent? Yes or no? Are you here to bring in certain children into this world? Yes or no? Are you here to create or to enforce justice? Yes or no? Are you here to feed people? Yes or no? Are you here to rectify all bad karma? Yes or no? Are you here to rectify all bad karma from Atlantis? Yes or no? Did you come here to rectify all karma from Lemuria? Yes or no? Did you come here to rectify all karma from Mars? Yes or no? Did you come here to bring in certain knowledge back from the past? Yes or no? Were you a fleeing extraterrestrial and got stranded here? Yes or no? Are you here to untangle from karmic entanglement from bringing in teachings and knowledge to this planet? Yes or no? Did you bring karmic entanglement from changing the DNA of humanity and all other beings? Yes or no? Are you here to rectify karmic entanglement from bringing war in the past? Yes or no? Are you here to undo karmic entanglement from bringing technologies that have been misused or that brought negative results? Yes or no? Are you here to undo karmic entanglement from exploitation and slavery? Yes or no? Are you a starseed here to help with raising the vibration, the consciousness? Yes or no? Are you a starseed to help with changing the social structure? Yes or no? Are you here, a starseed, to change you know, the concept around love, to go from three-dimensional consciousness to a fifth-dimensional consciousness, yes or no?
Are you a Stasi to help with the change of the financial system? Yes or no? Are you here to assist Gaia? Yes or no? Are you here to just witness ascension firsthand? Then do not interfere. Yes or no? Did you come here to assist with ascension firsthand? Yes or no? Are you a Stasi to help with new ways to uplift consciousness through art and beauty? Yes or no? Are you a Stasi to help with new philosophies? Yes or no? Are you a Stasi? To help with new physics? Yes or no? Are you Stasi to help with new types of healing? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And just keep on breathing now. Love from heaven and earth into your heart. Make sure you know you stay in your heart. Make sure your heart pumps. Smile like an idiot. Uh -huh. Just pump your heart so you get off the mental plane in case you wander off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, become heart centered again. Uh huh. And we ask the angels to you know update the force field so nobody can get to you, nobody can mess with you. Uh -huh. All right. Now back to yes and no questions. Mm -hmm. Are you a starseed to help with helping the environment? Yes or no? Are you a starseed to help with guiding people on their life path? You know, this could be like a tarot reader or a therapist or a healer. Yes or no? Ask whether you came forward as a whistleblower in your field. Yes or no? Ask whether it's part of your purpose being here to help kids to wake up properly, you know, so that their spiritual gifts are not squashed by society anymore, but rather furthered. Yes or no? And now ask uh, whether you know, part of your purpose is here to assist people in passing on to the other plane, so-called hospice programming. This is part of your mission here, yes or no? Let's ask whether you're here for a cause like protecting animals, yes or no? And maybe you are here um, to uh, protect certain animals from extinction. Is this the case? Yes or no? Are you here to help the environment with new ways of agriculture? Yes or no? Are you here to assist as a shamanic style healer? Yes or no? Are you here to assist as an Atlantean style healer? Yes or no? Are you here to assist as a Lemurian style healer? Yes, sir. Are you here to help with physical healing? Yes, sir. No. Are 
Are you here to help through herbal healings? Yes or no? Are you here to help through energy healing? Yes or no? Are you here to help through our chemical healing? Yes or no? Are you here to help with sexual healing? You know, especially if you have been or are working in the SEX industry. Mm -hmm. Just ask yes or no. Are you here to bring in some yet unknown technologies in healing? Yes. Are you here to bring in new mathematics? Yes or no? Are you here to explore alchemy? Yes or no? Are you here to explore new scientific concepts? Yes or no? Are you here to turn magic into science? Yes or no? Are you here to bring in branches of science that are unknown yet? Yes or no? Are you here to bring in new spiritual systems and techniques? Yes or no? Are you here to incorporate your high self into this physical body? Yes or no? Are you here to learn and teach how to astral travel? Yes or no? Are you here to learn and teach how to use chi for different purposes? Yes or no? Are you here to explore past lives? Yes or no? Are you here to explore other dimensions? Yes or no? Are you here to be a channel for higher wisdom? Yes or no? Are you a falling angel? Yes or no? Are you a falling demigod? Yes or no? Are you a demigod that is here voluntarily? Yes or no? Have you been cursed to be here, you know, on this dimension? Yes or no? Now, for your Hindus, that would be the giant Vijay story. That would be an example of that. I don't know whether there's anything in other traditions. Did you try to help out eons ago and got trapped here? Yes or no? Did you come here for one incarnation and got entangled? Yes or no? Did you come here to rescue an individual or a group of people? Yes or no? And if yes, who are they? 
Please tell me now. Amen. Are you here because you did Bodhisattva vows? This means you, know, you vow to stay here till all beings are enlightened. Yes or no? Now I ask, are you here to go around and cleanse the darkness? Yes or no? Now, are you here to go around and cleanse and activate power points, you know, nodal points, you know, where whole ley lines, like as an earth grid worker, yes or no? Are you here to re-establish relationships with the ET, you know, with extraterrestrial races, yes or no? Are you here to re-establish relationships with the Fae, the Fairy, you know, those kind of beings, yes or no? Are you here to re-establish relationship with the dragons and unicorns and other mystical creatures, yes or no? Are you here to re-establish relationship with the subterranean species like Nagas or the Agathan Kingdom, you know, or other beings from that realm, yes or no? Are you here to re-establish relationships with the sea creatures, in the dolphins, uh, the whales and other beings, known or unknown to man or to mass mind, yes or no? Are you here to reestablish relationship with the elementals, yes or no? Are you here to re-establish relationships with the higher dimensions like angelics, cosmic forces, etc.? Are you a, a witness, like a, a recorder, whose memories are being used later you know, to teach galactic history, for example, or in a court of spiritual law, yes or no? Are you here to help ascend disconnect beings like ghosts, yes or no? Are you here to liberate certain trapped aspects of yourself from past incarnations, yes or no? Are you here to liberate trapped higher dimension light beings, yes or no? Are you here to protect certain artifacts, yes or no? And if yes, what are those artifacts? Please tell us now. Amen. Are you here to create certain artifacts, yes or no? And if you don't know yet, ask, you know, what would that be in the highest perspective? 
Tell us now, Amen. Are you here to find certain artifacts? Yes or no? Are you here to protect a certain knowledge? Yes or no? Are you here to bring in a certain knowledge? Yes or no? Are you here to protect or to further a certain bloodline? Yes or no? Are you actually a part of that bloodline? Yes or no? Are you here to assist in earth grid healing? Yes or no? Are you here to protect a certain portal or wormhole? Yes or no? Are you here to create positive portals or wormholes? Yes or no? Are you here to close negative portals or wormholes? Yes or no? Are you here to experience suffering? Because it is a new experience for you, you know, from where you come from, from the higher dimensions. It's like, are you here to come slumming? Yes or no? So if there is a certain purpose, you know, in your life that was not mentioned yet, you know, we ask, you know, your spiritual guidance to let you know now. Amen. And now we ask our spirit guides, you know, to help us with the wisdom and open our hearts to see the value and lessons that we have with the people that we meet. We also asked for guidance, you know, to recognize the right time and circumstances to bring in new ideas, you know, at a level that we can understand. And we also asked for companionship and support, you know, from like-minded people. We asked for inner and outer inspiration for guidance for our own life. And now uh, we ask, is there any last message for us before we're leaving? Please give this now. Amen. Now we thank all the spirit guides that have protecting us, that have been guiding us for doing so. And then we ask that if anything negative or wrongfully was brought into us, that this please be removed. We ask that our subtle bodies be all aligned and updated, that we perfectly be grounded now. Amen. And that whatever lessons are there, that, uh, that we get the help to perfectly integrate them into our life without too much struggle. Amen. And we ask that we be surrounded by a force field that can only be penetrated by love and light and that repels darkness and that keeps us connected with our own spiritual guidance from now on. Amen. 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 And one, two, three. The completed grounded now and back in vacant day consciousness again. Hello, my friends. Back again to this reality. Uh, probably good idea if you get answers to, you know, do this meditation several times. And um, with a lot of uh, these uh, issues, you may not know what is going on. You can further investigate or have a private session with me. But make sure, you know, you drink a lot of water after this meditation. If you get a headache, 
you definitely have to drink more water. And as always, if you responded well to this guide of meditation, you probably want to try out my other ones or get a personal session with me. Uh, also, um, please show your gratitude you know, to my work by giving me a thumbs up or communicating uh, you know, on, on the comments here, you know, there's a tribe, you know, forming around this and, you know, you're not alone. So I love you and smile like an idiot and see you again.